Representative volume elements and unit cells are being used as methods to bridge between different length scales. They are getting attention as useful tools for multi-scale modeling in heterogeneous and porous materials. The terminologies of RVE and UC are used interchangeably sometimes, resulting in confusion. In this video, we will talk about when to use RVE or UC. What are RVE and UC? What is the difference between RVE and UC? When you are dealing with modeling heterogeneous or porous materials, you can assume that these materials are homogeneous at upper length scale, for the sake of simplicity. Or you can model these materials exactly as it is at upper length scale. Undoubtedly, you will face high computational cost. As an alternative approach, you can model these types of material at lower length scale with more efficient computational cost and still gain an acceptable result. You can determine an appropriate finite volume, containing all constituents of the material, which is representative of that material. This volume is known as representative volume element or unit cell. Representative volume element or RVE is a sufficiently large volume of a material in a lower length scale that is capable of reproducing properties as obtained from a volume of the material in the upper length scale. That's why this volume is called representative. In simple words, you can obtain properties from this volume, which is representative of the whole. RVEs are commonly employed for problems involving random structure at their lower length scale, for instance, heterogeneous materials, such as unidirectional fiber reinforced composite, particle reinforced metal or polymer matrices, materials with random architecture in lower length scale, crystalline materials or porous materials, like all types of foams and lattice structures. The size of RVE must be large enough to be representative. Though, for computational efficiency, one will be naturally interested in the minimum size of the RVE. Therefore, there is a minimum size of the volume, which below that, the RVE will no longer be representative. The minimum size of RVE may vary from material to material, and sometimes from one property to another. For instance, you might need a substantial volume for measuring Young's modulus of UD composites, transverse to fiber, then in the fiber direction. We will talk about how to obtain an appropriate size of RVE in our future video. Our expert team have developed useful plugins for generating 2D or 3D RVE with few clicks. You can simply change the RVE size or inclusion volume fraction and analyze the effect of each parameter on the desired property. Visit our website and watch our previous videos to get familiar with their capabilities. A unit cell or UC is a segment of a material at its lower length scale, which is capable of reproducing the material at its upper length scale with appropriate symmetry transformations. Therefore, the UC and its images resembles the original material, without any gap or overlap in space. Unit cells are employed for problems involving periodic architecture at their lower length scale, for instance, honeycomb structures, lattice or truss structures, fabric-reinforced polymer composites such as woven fabrics, braided fabrics, knitted fabrics. Note that, based on the defined terminologies, UC is always an RVE, but not vice versa. As the final word, always remember to consider periodicity while constructing an RVE for heterogeneous and porous materials. And apply periodic boundary conditions on the RVE to gain acceptable results. Our expert team have successfully developed a plugin for applying periodic boundary condition on 2D and 3D parts. Thanks for watching this video. If you have found this video helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment.